the summer seasons of Susie's childhood were spent in the hills of Elmira, New York. The rest of the year in the, in the house in Hartford, <laughs> like other girls, she was blithe and happy and fond of play. When Susie was 13 and a slender little maid with plaited tails of copper-tinged brown hair down her back, and perhaps the busiest bee in the household hive, she took on another task of her labors, that of writing a biography of me. Oh, how pleased I was and how proud. As I read it now, it is still a king's message to me. Ever since Papa and Mama were married, Papa has written his books and taken them to Mama in manuscript form. And she has expurgated them. <laughs> Papa read Huckleberry Finn to us in manuscript, and he, he left part of it with Mama to expurgate. And I remember so well with what pangs of regret we used to see her turn down the leaves of the pages. It's human life. <laughs> We are blown upon the world. We float buoyantly on the summer air for a little while, complacently showing off our grace of form and our dainty iridescent colors. And then we vanish with a little puff, leaving nothing behind but a memory and sometimes not even that. I remember those days of 21 years ago. There's a certain pathos clings about them. Susie, with her manifold young charms and her dainty iridescent mind, she was as lovely as any bubble we made that day and just as transitory. She passed, as they pass, in her youth and her beauty, and nothing remains but a heartbeat and a memory.